It's that time of year again as the unrivaled Sweet Georgia Peach is ready to come out of the field and onto your shelves. And after months of preparation, it's gratifying to finally see all that hard work come to fruition. Feels good. Uh, you know, always a lot of uh, dust to, to kick off and everything like that. Uh, getting started up, so not without some issues, but overall, um, glad to get going. And so far so good, as this year's crop is another strong one, as ideal growing conditions have resulted in both exceptional quantity and quality. The weather was very cooperative. You know, we didn't have too much or too little rain. Good, good rain. Um, it was a moderate, you know, kind of cool spring, which was great. Uh, you know, we feel like for fruit size, color, color's been absolutely outstanding this year. So some good positives to, um, you know, our spring weather we've had so far. However, this wasn't the case for the entire state as a late freeze in the growing season did have major repercussions on certain areas of Georgia. March and April, the cold snaps we had, you know, we really, we, we really feel like we dodged the bullet. Um, you go just a little bit farther north of here, you know, our, our peach horticulturist, you know, he's up in Griffin. You know, he lost pretty much his, his entire crop. So as you go farther north, you know, you, you can see anywhere from a, you know, above the, above the coastal plain, you know, anywhere from a probably 20 to 50% loss. Fortunately, that impact was minimal in central Georgia, where the majority of peaches are grown. You know, we might have got 20% of a reduction from the cold that we got in, you know, late March and early April. Uh, but, you know, we always say we kind of we kind of feel like 80 percent of a crop is a, is a full crop because we always expect to see something like that. We never have too many peaches, I don't think. Um, you know, I think that we might have had too many peaches if we hadn't had that April uh, cold snap. It was one of those where we were wondering, you know, where are we going to put some peaches, you know. Um, but no, I, I mean, we got we have plenty of peaches here and they've, you know, up into South Carolina and down there up there at the ridge, which is still on that coastal plain area. As for the quality, there's nothing to worry about as consumers can expect to see the same fresh, flavorful peaches they've been accustomed to. You know, we had a little bit of freeze damage, but not enough to really uh, be too concerned about. Um, there's a little bit of small fruit that's been kind of dry, but overall quality looks fantastic taste is excellent and uh just hoping for a uh, good volume here and there's a reason the state's signature fruit continues to fly off the shelves as its reputation precedes itself george is the peach state for the re for a reason we grow the absolute best peaches in the country and certainly the sweetest so uh you know excited to be a part of that and just looking for a fantastic uh 2021 season reporting from crawford county I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.